In this video, we're going to be answering the question, are brushed motors in RC crawlers officially a thing of the past? If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Troy and this is Roadside RC. You'll tend to find me bashing or crawling or drifting or racing, plus doing product review videos and how to's. And just a little while back, I made this video up here. I can provide a link to it down in the video description where I put the Hobby Wing 1080 ESC plus a Holmes Hobby brushed motor. I put it up against the Hobby Wing Fusion 2-in-1 motor and ESC brushless setup. And I did all that just to figure out is paying that extra price for the brushless system really worth it compared to what you get with a good quality brush system in an RC crawler specifically. And my answer at the time was no. And it didn't make a lot of people happy that I said no, that I said that the brushless wasn't really worth the price. You know, it was good. It has its place. If people wanted it, it was okay. But it really wasn't worth the like double the price premium. Maybe Hobby Wing heard me because they have now Fusion SE and it is much, much cheaper compared to the previous two-in-one brushless setups. So today we're taking the brushed system out of my RedCat Gen 9, putting in this Fusion SE to try to answer this question again. Is this now actually worth it compared to the brush setups? First up, we're gonna go out and get some baseline runs with my Gen 9 in its brushed stock configuration. Now, to be clear, I'm not looking for crawler capability here. I'm looking for smoothness of throttle input and regulation of the throttle and total wheel speed, actually, because I am a fan of big wheel speed in a crawler. Back from the test drive, honestly, the truck does really well. Even with this standard motor and ESC that are in here, I can only imagine it's a little bit better with that Hobby Wing 1080. But it is now time to get the Fusion SE swapped into the truck so that we can do another comparison. Now, I'm not going to have you sit through right here, all of me doing whatever it takes to put this in this truck. I'll have that as a whole separate video, and I'll have that link down below in the video description. So now we're just going to cut to it being done and that's going back out and doing another trial it is all buttoned up installed zip tied in all everything's done so we're going to go out and give it a quick test drive
test drive is done now with the Fusion SE system installed. What are the final thoughts here now? So we started this video off brushed versus brushless. Is brushed dead or not? Honestly, at the end of the day, here's the deal. The brushless technology is superior. Hands down, no questions, especially with these Hobbywing two-in-one units. They're compact, they're easy to use, they have a lot of good power, they're efficient, they're quiet. I mean, it's you got like everything there. The brushless is still definitely the better technology. The question comes, is it worth the price difference? And so when I did this video before, and you could get a good Hobbywing 1080 brushed ESC plus a good Holmes Hobby motor for in that $60 range, it was really hard to justify jumping all the way up to like around 150 for the brushless. Honestly, for how I drive, trail, crawl, all that kind of stuff, I just don't see the value in it that much. Brushed has good low-end control. It has You can gear it for good power. There is a little bit of a deficit for the brushed when it comes to like mud and silt and stuff because it gets in there and just kind of clogs the motor up. So brushless has a little advantage that way, but really at the end of the day, what's happened here since the last time I did this, is the brushed has gotten a little bit more expensive. Hobbywing now has their Hobbywing 1080 V2 or G2 or something like that. And now it's like $10 more expensive. The motors are a little bit more expensive. So now you're looking at like a 70 ish dollars in order to get the brushed setup that's really good. And the Fusion SE came out. And so now Hobbywing has this whole unit now and it's $80. $80, like $79.99. So it's only about $10 more. For $10 more, I'm gonna buy the Fusion SE. I think every time, every time. I think brushed is dead. If I get a crawler and from the factory it has the brush set up in it, I'll run it for a long time. I'll see if it dies, I'll see how it does. I'm not in a rush to get rid of it, but I'm probably gonna buy Fusion SEs to put in it afterwards because why not? The price is so cheap and you get rid of some of those extra components and you combine everything. Yeah, it might be worth it. Now, I'm curious long-term durability. I'm about to take this truck down to USTE in Florida and it's gonna be my main vehicle crawling over multiple days through all sorts of obstacles. It's gonna get a lot of miles on it. So we're gonna make sure it's nice and durable. If you wonder how that goes, then let me know down in the comments. I'll be happy to tell you. But I think for me, if I'm buying an ESC or a motor for a crawler anymore, it's brushless brushed is dead. So do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down in the comments below and we'll talk about it. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.